guys, um, welcome to week 24. It's viability week, so now if she was born this week, she'd have a very good chance of, you know, fighting. Um, I'm getting sick, <laughs> and so I'm just back. Um, this week, 24 weeks, and there's 112 days to go. Um, she's meant to be measuring 34 centimetres and 690 grams, um, but she's bigger than that because she's been measuring bigger. So I, I have no idea what she is now. Um, everything's been going really good except for the fact that the last four nights now, um, I have been getting really bad indigestion. Um, like even during the day, if I have um, juice or anything, I get really like funny in the tummy and I get all the indigestion. Um, at night time, we'll have dinner at like six or seven o'clock and then it'll kick in around nine-ish, eight or nine. And then it'll be with me all night and it's so painful. And I'm, like water, it does nothing. Milk only helps for like two minutes. Um, I haven't bought any of the bottles of like my lantern or whatever it's called. Um, I haven't done that yet because I'm hoping it's going to go away. But it's just getting worse and so I may as well just accept the fact that I'm stuck with indigestion now. Um, but yeah, that sucks. I bought my furniture package last night um, from the online store. We just have to pick it up in a month, which I'm really excited about. I've worked so hard to save up. Um, the, like the six hundred dollars in a week, um, and it's just really, really exciting because it's it's everything. It's the cot, it's the mattress, it's the change table, the change mat, a tall boy, um, just basically everything I'll need to put in there. And like it's really solid wood as well. Like the cot itself is thirty four kilos, um, so I'm really excited about that. <sighs> um, not really anything else has happened except for, except for the indigestion. Um, uh, the last two mornings, I don't know if that's just because I'm not sleeping very well. Um, because like I get morning sickness when I'm tired. But I've been sick the last two mornings. I just haven't vomited. It's just like back to the gagging. And I was with my mom in the shops yesterday. And I was just standing in the shop like, blah, blah, like gaggy. Oh, um, I just woke up about an hour ago. So that, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's starting to come back. So I'm worried that I'm going to be one of those women that have the really bad morning sickness in the beginning and it goes away in the second trimester and then it comes back with a vengeance in the third. Um, I'm not going to make that. <laughs> I'll probably end up in hospital if it's as bad as what it was. Because um, I wasn't eating and I wasn't drinking and I was just, like, oh my god. Oh, she's awake now. I've been waiting for her to wake up. She usually wakes up about 9.30 and it's about quarter past 10 now. So she slept in. Um, but yeah, um, I'm not going to do a belly shot this week. I promise I'll do one next week. It's just hard with the laptop and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm obviously showing now. Um, I went and met my partner's and uncle yesterday with his mom and stuff because we were meeting I was meeting his nana as well and um like I was getting a lot of belly rubs <laughs> um which was fun like I don't know why some people have a problem with their space and you know like I'd never met the auntie before and like I didn't have a problem with it at all like it's just a belly rub like it sticks out like I, I love it um it's just another little reminder that she's in there um, so I love the belly rubs. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's another thing. I've been really out of breath again this week. Um, she's sitting around my belly button now. She's not so low like she had been with her hip, um, with her head like right in my hip. And so I'm thinking that now she's up around my belly button. Um, that's making a difference. I don't have hip arthritis like I originally thought I did. Um, it's SPD. I can't remember what the name of that is. I'll quickly look it up now. Um, but it's basically, if you type in SPD, oh, it's symphys pubis dysfunction. 
So basically, if you guys remember, um, around 12, 16 weeks, like that whole entire time, I was getting what I compared to as growing pains, because um, I had really bad growing pains in my knees growing up. Basically, um, everyone said it was a round ligament joints or whatever growing. Yes, it was. But they grew too much too soon. And so now my hips are sitting, um, like the muscles aren't as tight as what they should be and my hips aren't sitting properly. And so like even putting undies on or putting socks on, I have to sit down because it is so painful. And walking around the shops, um, like it just, ugh, after a while it just gets really painful. Um, another thing is, I don't know if I'd mentioned it, but I, from like 19 weeks I'd been waddling, like I was starting to pick up a waddle. Um, that's that as well because the hips aren't in place. I'm picking up like the, I don't know, they're meant to sit like that, I guess. Like, And they're not, they're sitting like that. But. Yeah, just look it up, Google it, whatever. Um, it sucks and it's really painful. I don't like it at all. But, you know, it goes away um, after I have her. So that's something. In two weeks, I'm going to be two thirds of the way there. That is really scary. Just like on one on one like point of view, it's going to be really good to have her here, and like I'm so excited to meet her. But then on the second, it's like you know, like I know when she's awake, and I know when she's sleeping, and like she's always kicking me, and I'm I think I'm really gonna miss her moving around in there. Um, like, I'm always talking to her. I'm always, like, rubbing my belly trying to, like, get a response from her. I think I'm really going to miss that. Um, and so with each day, I'm reminding myself that this is one day closer to when I'm not going to have her, like, in me, <laughs> I guess, um, would be the less morbid way of seeing it. Um, but, you know, I'll have her here, and that's crazy. I'm so looking forward to just like picking up the furniture set and setting up the nursery and then I can, you know, vlog in the nursery and stuff. Um, that'll be really good. Um, craving wise, not much. Um, same as usual, just really junky stuff, stuff I shouldn't be eating. I'm trying to eat like a lot of greens now. Um, last night we had potato salad and salad and chicken nuggets. So I kind of tried to balance it out because I really wanted chicken nuggets. But, um, yeah, I'm not really avert, like, having much of food aversions. Um, I still have my baby brain, so nothing sticks with me. <laughs> um, my sleep patterns are getting really messed up because of, like, A, my cat, because he wakes up at 4.31 and didn't go outside, so he wakes me up then. Um, I'm up like 50 times during the night peeing and like I wake up because my hips are hurting me so bad. Um, so I sleep on my belly sometimes. Like I put my knee up really high um, to just compensate for the pressure on my stomach so I'm not like actually sleeping on my stomach, um, if that makes any sense. But um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to talk about <laughs> today. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm, you know, I'm very forthcoming and oversharing with my answers so yeah, just let me know